Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year, it's 2019 now. So today I'm just going to do a little review on a few different things. Um, yeah, I'm checking out my fish right now, he's just kind of chilling underneath this heater. He's hiding. The fishy. Probably needs a better hiding spot. There he goes. Okay, so it's a new year and taking a look at what my goals are for 2019. <laughs> well, <clears throat> um, some of the videos I did last year. Uh, starting up my channel, um, probably the first uh, really good one was, um, you know, why I stay in the market during a downturn. Because to me, it was sort of obvious that um, at some point the market was going to go south. And boy, it did. It waited all the way till the last month of the year, and then it just plummeted pretty hard. <clears throat> so... Actually, I would have been better off if I would have waited till the very end of the year to start investing. You know, if I would have waited for the big dip. Uh, but I'm in it now, and, you know, I got a um, monthly stream of income, uh, passive income, of, uh, you know, dividends that are being paid monthly and quarterly. And so I'm just going to um, stick with my my plan and just, uh, for better or worse, just keep, keep going at it. Let's take a look at uh, my dividends, uh, just to give you get you caught up on what's going on. Last year, two thousand eighteen, made three hundred and fifty-seven dollars officially. Uh, that is tax adjusted. Um, it was actually a higher amount, but it. I'm automatically deducting the tax from these numbers. So yeah, 357 was the amount. Here you can see the monthly chart. Uh, December, uh, that 128, I got a special dividend. And I should have did a, a, a video on, you know, showing how I got my special dividend. Um, but uh, the channel has been kind of taken off kind of slow. And I'm not, I'm not uh, really putting in uh, the effort to get all the details in what's going on. Um, right now, it's just kind of a coarse uh, brush, as opposed to like a fine tooth comb, on my investing life. <laughs> uh, this channel is basically just to help keep me focused and meet people along the way that have similar goals. And also when I talk um, in forums or when I meet other people, you know, I like to have some type of reference um, to what I'm talking about just to really drive home some points. You can say a lot more in a video than you can in a, in a little comment. So this is, uh, right now we're in December. I got a ten dollars uh, into the year. First payout was uh, AT and T. Uh, I'm looking at getting uh, dividends this upcoming month from uh, Conical Phillips, Kinder Morgan, and Great Elm Capital. Then I'll be following it up with uh, Discover. I did sell off my Starbucks, and I made a couple other moves too. I sold out of uh, Edison uh, just to wait for some stable footing before I get in, because yeah, I don't, I don't want to um, take a loss on Edison. I, I just sold it. I just sold it while while I could. 
So next month I will be looking at dividends from Discover, which I have 10 shares now, Great Elm and Great Elm Capital. And then I'll be following that up uh, in March uh, by some of these other ones you see here. Actually, just uh, just this BRY. The other ones I sold out of. Here's my positions right now. Uh, Great Elm Capital, Kinder Morgan, AT&T, Discover, ProPetro, Berry Petroleum Corporation, Great Elm Capital Group, ConocoPhillips, Target, and the bottom one is Solar Winds, which is an IT company. So, yep, that is what I got. Hmm. My 2019 goals. Well, I'm going to be working on this chart here. Um, having. I'd like to get a similar um, representation of what you see here, just at a little larger scale. If I could increase this up. That would be great. Right now you can see my yield to cost at the top there is at 8.5%. So if I just let my portfolio sit, um, this number would definitely go up. But I will be getting back into the market now. Uh, what's been going on recently? Okay, here is my quarterly chart. And you can see it dipped down at the very bottom was Christmas Day. Um, so yeah, plummeted down. And it has since recovered. Now, will it stay up? I don't think it will. But I do think it is time to start putting money back in and growing my investing amount one other goal that I have is I would like to keep more cash on hand um, right here you can see my portfolio val value I have uh, 7200 in stocks and 300 cash available um, I'd like to keep a, a balance, uh, at least between $500 to $1,000 in cash, and I'm going to be working that up um, while I also increase my positions on certain stocks. So the goals I have right now are to continue building my positions in dividend stocks and increasing my dividend payouts per month and to keep uh, a, a more sizable cash on hand balance that way when opportunities come up I will be ready to take advantage of them so yep that's what I got going on so what are your what's your take on 2019 let me know and if you find this channel helpful, please uh, subscribe and like and um, be in contact. I love to hear from people. <laughs> well, good luck, and thanks for stopping by.